Hi everyone, this is Amy from Eclectic Educating, and today I'm going to be talking about EBSCOhost. I use EBSCOhost all the time. I use it to find great articles and short stories for my students, and sometimes I use it to find professional development articles from journals. I've gotten some questions about how do you get to EBSCOhost, what do you do about logging in, and how do you navigate the site? How do you find what you're looking for? So first off, how do we get there? Just go ahead and Google EBSCO Hunt. Then just go ahead and click on the first one. If you have a login, go ahead and type that in. Alright, once you're in, I usually just use Searchosaurus when I'm finding articles for my students. The reason I like Searchosaurus is because you can search by Lexa. So let's say I want an article about robots, and I want it to be between 500 and 700 for the Lexa. Go ahead and search that. And let's see, the first one that comes up is I use a robot to go to school. I've actually used that article. It's pretty good. I usually only pick ones that have a PDF available. So you go ahead, load the article, and there we have it right there. And you can see this was actually in Scholastic in September of 2012. So you have the whole article there. A lot of times there's a copyright page at the end. Then you can save the article, or you can print it right there. And I will show you why I like the PDF. So let's scroll down and find one. This one's only available in HTML. So we click on that. And then this is all that you get right here. It's just typed right there. It doesn't have pictures. Sometimes the format is messed up. So I just stay away from those. I stick to the PDF. Alright, now maybe you don't have a topic in mind. Maybe you just want art and music, and you want pretty advanced look style there, maybe music. So you can search by topics if you like, too. Alright. Now another one that I've used occasionally is Kid Search. And you can pick topics on this one, too. Mm, there we go. The thing about this one is, you would have to sort through the like styles on your own. Sometimes they're not even listed. You can't really search by a level. So that's why I don't use that one as much. Now, if you are interested in finding some journal articles for yourself, go to Professional Search, Teachers and Administrators. You can click on either one of these. I usually do Eric. So let's say you want to find an article in the reading teacher journal. Probably only going to want the full text, you don't want part of one. And I just want journal cut articles, not any other sort of document. Search that. Here we go, we have combining traditional and new literacies. And I'm going to want, again, the PDF. And there we go, you have the journal article. Now some of you might say, my school does not have a login. A lot of public schools do have logins, but not necessarily everyone. I found that most public libraries have one. So I'll pick my local library here, and I just went up to their research, their databases, and Then scroll down, and there are EBSCO hosts. I can search in the library, or I could do it from my house, as long as I have a library card. So you don't have to type that in. So I just tried some other libraries, you know. So this one here, you do the same. You go to your databases, and there's EBSCO hosts. So most times, a lot of public libraries have them, and you just need your library card to get in. All right, well, that is EBSCO Host for you. I hope you all check it out because it has phenomenal resources, great articles and short stories for your students, as well as articles for yourself. Thanks for